Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a review of the HQ 3x4x3 V1S. And if you just look at it right away, this looks like a quite funky prop. Um, something that you don't normally see in the V1S line from HQ, um, considering how just how steep of the pitch of the scoop here is, since the V1S line is more targeted towards lower load, more efficient propellers. However, since it is a 3 inch and it's very, very close to the center of the hub there, that's probably not going to make too much of a difference. But it does show that they're definitely putting some more thinking into their designs with the curve of the air airfoil as it moves down along the blade here. So this obviously is a 3 inch prop and it's just in a PC material so it's going to be pretty durable. Um, it's a 3 inch prop, they're so small there's really not that much to break. Um, I just have some other popular 3 inch props here. They're pretty much all equal in durability with one not being clearly more durable than the other since they're just so small and they carry such little weight. So let me weigh this for you real quick here to see how much it weighs. So the V1S weighs 2.09 grams. So here we have a Lumineer 3040T here. That weighs 2.12 grams, so just a little bit more. Have the Gemfan 50 or 3052 Flash right here. Put that on, that's 1.63. See quite a bit lighter there. And then we have the Rotor X 3044T right here. That weighs 1.3, so even less. So in terms of weight, it's sort of up on the heavier end of the spectrum. If I line them up just like that, which kind of makes sense if you look at how much material it has as well as the hub in general. Hopefully you can see, not really, but um, is much bigger than the gem fan there. So yeah, that was just a real quick overview of the 3x4x3 V1S from HQ. Let's stick these on a 3-inch quad and see how they perform. Alright, so here we are outside for the line of sight test of the HQ 3x4x3 V1S prop. So just real quick, running over the setup that we'll be testing it on here. We have the Mode 2 Gizmo frame. have Brother Hobby 1407 4100 KV motors. We have some 25 amp BLHeli S ESCs. We have a Pico BLX flight controller and a Nova VTX run cam micro swift and an XM Plus. And for the battery, we just have a Tattoo 650 75C 4S. Welcome to OpenTX. So there's a little bit of wind out right now, but let's just get this guy plugged up. Let's see how it goes. Okay. I'm just using the 650 battery, so it's a little bit lighter and more peppy for line of sight. I did have to retune for these props just a little bit. I was getting some oscillation. Oh yeah, way better with the uh, tuning that I did real quick. Still some oscillation around turns, but I just needed less P and more D. So these guys are actually pretty quiet up close when they're just cruising along. They're pretty efficient at a cruise just like this. I'm just due to the blade shape they have. Let's do a full speed pass. A little bit of wind out right here. Probably can't see it. That was against the wind. That was with the wind. I'd say it's maybe topping out about 70 miles an hour. These definitely do not have a ton of top end to them. Even on the 4100 KV. They're decently snappy on the uh, low end there. But these are 4100 KV motors and I got a light 650 battery on there. And compared to other, whoop, whoa. A little durability test. Don't know what happened there. Forgot I was upside down, I guess. <laughs> the, um, it's pretty light. So compared to other three inch props, it's not all that snappy, but they're pretty respectable. Um, just flip into some higher rates here. Hopefully you can hear them still having some oscillation there. I guess that was good enough for the line of sight part right here. So 
now let's do some FPV with these guys. on my little Mode 2 gizmo here with the 3x4x3 V1S HQ props. So to just sort of sum up in general, I don't have any um, current meter on here, so I can't exactly tell you how efficient they are. However, on an 854S, which is usually what I run um, on any prop for this quad, I was getting about the same flight time, so they're pretty much uh, pulling about the same current. I would say that the 3044T from Rotor X probably does pull a little bit more. Um, the Gemfan 3052, surprisingly, I'm getting the same efficiency at, even though with the higher pitch there. And then the Lumineer is a little bit more uh, less efficient because of its design. It's just a little bit more bull nose without any wingtip management. So in terms of the flight feel, this V1S 3-inch prop definitely follows the other V1S series. It is very, very locked in in a very nice, tight control feeling. Hopefully you could tell... Um, from the DVR. I apologize for the bad recording. I wasn't able to use my um, clear view at that time, so it's got a lot of break up there, but it definitely was very, very locked in. That's probably due to the high amount of pitch, the scoop there. Um, that just really helps. The overall top speed definitely wasn't that crazy. Um, the Gemfan 3052 and Rotor X 3044T definitely have more top end. However, I would say this probably does have a little bit more low end and a little bit more locked in control feeling. And I am using um, Brother Hobby 1407 4100 kV motors for three inch here. So 4100 kV is kind of a little bit high, but that's where I think three inch should be at. 3600 kV is just a little bit too low in my opinion. So when you look at such a small prop as a three inch, it definitely is kind of hard to crown sort of a clear winner or different characteristics because the disc loading is just so small. The, the characteristics are bad no matter pretty much what prop you have unless you have a super, super lightweight build. This one's medium light. Um, it's not too bad, but it's definitely not ultra light. But I definitely would say the extra control feeling was noticeable on these versus pretty much my other favorite prop which is the 3052 from GemFam. I got these HQ from Pyroflip RC. You can see they have their own special branded bag there. I'm not actually sure how many other places they're available at yet. They're still a little bit new but they definitely are available and there will be a link down below. And once again, like I said, it definitely is hard to crown a clear winner for 3-inch, but I still am kind of leaning towards the GemFan 3052 as my favorite 3-inch propeller, with maybe the HQ falling behind if you have a really tight track where you need lots of control. The Rotor X is actually a really nice prop. However, I've never had too much luck with it, just to, it seems to be drawing a lot more amps, and as well as I need to retune the quad with my P&D gains for that. And then the Lumineer is a decent prop, but it's just sort of a bit outdated now with the other designs, as well as this one wasn't particularly durable. Hopefully you can see the crease there. So this is probably the least durable 3-inch prop I've had. So HQ is definitely good, but I'd still probably prefer the GemFan 3052 over it. So that's the end of the video. There will be a link down below if you're interested. 
Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.